Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and update you guys a little bit with what's been going on uh, in my SSF League and playtime through Path of Exile. So I want to actually start off today with one of the rips. The Blade Vortex character did actually RIP. So let me go ahead and jump in and show you guys what that looks like. Get ready boys, it's going to be fun. Oh! <gasps> oh! <laughs> no way! That just happened, dude! <laughs> I thought I was fine, dude! Fox Boober has been slain, by the way. I, <laughs> I, I was gonna shield charge for Fortify and come back, dude. I got clapped. <laughs> Anyway, though, let's let's talk about some other stuff that's uh, that's going on. So, with that character dead, I do believe I told you guys I was going to be playing a Freeze Pulse character. Uh, don't mind this black screen. There we go. I was going to tell you guys, or I I believe I told you guys I was going to be playing a Freeze Pulse character. But instead of playing a Freeze Pulse character, I instead wanted to try something different. Mainly because. Um, I don't know, I just feel like that character's gonna take a little bit to get going. Um, I just don't really feel like playing it right now. It's, you know, kind of like story of my life with everything in Path of Exile. So, uh, <laughs> instead, I'm gonna go ahead and play a Reign of Arrows Trapper, uh, which is the character I have right here. Um, so, the way this character is kind of designed is, essentially, the goal for it is to use the skill Reign of Arrows on a trap. Now, Reign of Arrows was changed recently, uh, and some of the cool things they changed with it is mechanically they changed completely how the skill works. Um, you can see now fires multiple arrows into the air um, to land in sequence after a delay starting at the targeted location and spreading outwards in all directions. Each arrow deals damage in an area around it. Half of the arrows will land directly on targets if there are targets in their range. Now, in terms of single target, we may try something like Shrapnel Shot or Blast Rain because I don't know how good Rain of Arrows is going to be for single target. Um, but we will also be going conversion with Chin Soul. So Chin Soul is a unique bow that we're going to be farming divination cards for. Let's see if I can pop the bow up for you guys to show you what it does specifically. So Chin Soul, you can see here, is pretty good. It's got a top end of 267, a 6.5, create a little bit of Ellie. But the main thing about this weapon is that it does 100% more damage with arrow hits at close range. Now. What this means is, if is you know the closer you are to the target, uh, the more damage you're going to do. With traps, the um, the way it works is since you throw a trap, the trap is the source that casts it. So traps are going to be activated by monsters, which means it's going to be point blank. Chin Soul also stacks with point blank, so you can really scale quite a bit with this build in terms of like how that works, and that's that's something that's been out for a long time, right? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking up Winter Spirit, and either we're going to use Rim Sorrow, which will be a total 90% conversion to Cold, or we're going to just use Fist to Lightning and go 50% Lightning and 40% Cold with our character. Now, um, I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing in there. This is still kind of like an outline, but I'm pretty set on my tree. Um, so I can show you guys that in a minute. Now, I decided to play Scion. Originally, I wanted to play this build as a champion, but the uh, hits do not be evaded and taunt does not work with the traps. I thought Sab would be a bit too squishy, so I decided Scion, and I'm gonna be going Scion, Saboteur, and Juggernaut. So one thing to note is after completing Uber Lab, Scion has five additional skill points uh, compared to everyone else. So if you are level 95, you're effectively like level 100. Uh, so that's kind of one cool thing as Scion. Number two, we're going to get increased AoE. We're going to get 6% pen, which is good because we're going to be using multiple elements. We get sustain from Sab, and we also get the blind, which will be on all the time because of traps, right? We're using cluster trap with rain of arrows. Everything's going to be blinded. Our goal is to be freezing all like the whites, blues, and even rares. We'll see if we can actually do that. Um, and then by going juggernaut, juggernaut, we get 1,000 accuracy, which means we don't have to worry about accuracy ever, like ever. All we have to do now is scale percentage accuracy, which you get from like your golem. You get here 20%, you also get a 20% here. Uh, you can get 20% on fury bolts and you can get 10% right here. That way you don't have to spec into like acuity or uh, any of the other ones because you don't want attack speed. Attack speed is useless for you as a trapper. 
Unless you're, you know, for Blink Arrow, but that doesn't really matter. So also as Juggernaut, we get Cannot Be Chilled, uh, which in my opinion is super great because your movement never gets interrupted by Chill. You only have to worry about Freeze. And I know Freeze and Chill are on the same thing, but it just, it's nice to consistently be moving, right? Uh, cannot Be Stunned, which is also really, really great since we are going to be playing a life-based build. And then we get 5% increased damage per Endurance Charge. Uh, and gain endurance charges every second if you've been hit recently. That basically means if you get hit, you get maximum endurance charges. That's pretty fucking cool in my opinion. I really do like that. So that's going to be the goal for what we're doing with that. So let me show you guys my passive tree. Um... But before I, before I go in and break down this passive tree, I want to show you how the leveling of the character has been. So up until Katava, everything was pretty much a breeze. I leveled with Quill Rain, and we literally would just level like this. It looks like I have no mana, but remember Quill Rain does give mana gain on hit. And since Rain of Arrows hits multiple targets, the mana generated back from it is actually quite nice. I'll give you an example right over here. The damage, we'll talk about that another time. We're using Quill Rain, so you know. Uh, the damage is, is quite poo-poo. I have Hatred on right now instead of, like, two Heralds. But, I mean, it is enough to level the character, like, to be real, right? Actually, I don't know if my OBS is lagging for you guys or not. I've been having issues with, with some stuff. That's why I haven't been recording too many videos at the moment. But anyway, we're not going to talk about it if it lagged really bad. Um, so yeah, I was using Prism Weave and Ondar's Grasp. Remember, this is an SSF character, so we're kind of limited and have to work with what we get. But um, for sure, if you can get a weapon called Stormcloud, which is what we might be farming for, Stormcloud will carry you all the way to maps. Um... But yeah, leveling the character hasn't been too bad. Katava specifically, Act 5, is when I noticed it got a bit more difficult. Uh, just because damage scaling is, you know, that's when you kind of need, like, an actual build. Uh, but we've been using Mirage. Well, actually, we messed around with a couple links. But right now, I've got Mirage, Archer, Kong, PPAD, and Rain of Arrows. Of course, with Vol Rain of Arrows. Vol Rain of Arrows is really nice because it maims and it cannot be evaded. Um, and it has a 150% increased effect of maim, which means it's like a 75% slow. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so I've been really liking that. Now, in terms of when we're going to transition to traps, this is kind of like when we can bring on this here. Before I transition to traps, I need this cluster, this cluster, and this cluster. And the reason why is those are what give us the trap trigger area of effect. And that's what we need to get started on our trapper. Once we pick up those, it's probably going to be around level, I want to say like, what am I now? 45? 50. Probably around 60 is when we're going to be going traps. Now, uh, I, like I did say, we are going to be trying to look for and we're going to try to farm a uh, Chin Soul. Before Chin Soul, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this weapon here called Infractum. And the reason why I'm going to use Infractum is, one, because I have it. Two, I'm playing a Trapper, so the 1.2 attacks per second doesn't affect us at all. And we do get 10% movement speed. So it's like a pretty solid weapon as a Trapper. Uh, and we'll use this until Chin Soul. And that's pretty much all I really have for you guys. Uh, if you want to see the Blade Vortex character and everything that we lost, I guess that would be a nice way to... Wait, wouldn't it be in Standard? Oh, is it Standard SSF? Is that a thing? Standard SSF. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Just to show you guys uh, what we ripped, uh, which probably... I haven't even looked at this. This is going to hurt me a little bit. Oh, man. Shit. Okay, so uh, I lost this Rot Gut. I don't know if I'd ever use Rot Gut. I lost my Hrim Sorrow, which took me at least a minimum of five hours to farm. But to be honest, it's okay. I was getting a little bored of the character. Uh, this isn't that special. These are 30% movement speed boots. This is kind of important. Uh, this ring is pretty cool. We'll find another one. Tabuli Rasa. This is another really good ring. Pretty not happy that I lost this ring here. Let me click it a few more times. Okay, now I feel a lot better. This is also another really good piece of gear. Um, but thankfully, it doesn't have like crit multi or anything on it. Again, kind of not happy about it. Uh, this shield's okay. We did get a really interesting double corruption on our Joffreys. It's plus two cold with plus one socketed gems, which is plus three to cold gems. So I was using like Herald of Ice in here. Kind of interesting. Don't really know how I feel about losing it. And then uh, we got, yeah, so that, that didn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I was getting a little bored of Blade Vortex. It, I don't know. I think if I'm going to play another auto run build, 
I fucking love Righteous Fire and Death's Oath, man. I'm probably just going to stick with those. I'll be real. They're just so much more tanky. And I think Blade Vortex is extremely strong once you get the things ready for it, like Impulsos uh, and like proper Herald Device setup and things like that. That's when it becomes pretty crazy. But before then, I'll just stick with what I had. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how that trapper goes. I'm, I'm not going to lie. We'll, we'll see. Not this trapper. The other trapper. <laughs> we'll see how uh, this guy works out. Um, if I don't like him, we'll try something else. Um, yeah, I still have that Freeze Pulsar. And then I have also slowly, slowly been collecting pieces for a CI build. Um, specifically, I think my Death's Oath character, where... Well, I don't even have a Death's Oath, so that's kind of important. But I had... Uh, where is it? I've got a Darks here with ES. I've got Syntrex. I think I have two pairs of Syntrex, actually. So that's that's slowly getting started with... A CI build. Uh, but the Syntrex are good because that's going to be for Freeze Pulse as well. Also, uh, just to let you guys know, um, I farmed about... How many Worms Malts? One, two, three, four, five, six. Get on my level. The six Worms Malts. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, I do apologize about not having a webcam on. I can't actually stream with my webcam. I don't know what's been going on. There is like some weird bad, you know, juju shit that happened and like I've been having so many problems with my stream connection issues, FPS problems, stupid shit like that. And I like don't really have much time in my life right now because I'm still in the process of moving like here I have to build the TV stand and some other stuff. But uh, life's good. Stream has been a little stressful because it's just kind of hard to get everything set up. But hopefully everything should be back to normal soon. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Um... One more thing. Actually, I lied. That was kind of scuffed. Here is what the tree looks like again. Just so you guys can kind of see it. And I will link this tree in the comments below. Have a wonderful time, everybody.